done. Um, Fred's cooking. What are you, um, you making, Fred? So we went to a big store, one of those big box stores that ends in Mart, and um, it doesn't have a K in front of it. It's got the other one. Anyway, we got one of these prepared meals. It's crispy pork chops. That wasn't from me. It wasn't from a K. No, but we didn't get it at Walmart. Yes, we did. We did. How much wine have you had? <laughs> None. I'm sober. Um, I thought we got it at Fred Meyer. No. We went, remember yesterday we went to... Yeah, today we went to Walmart. Today we went Yesterday to we went oh. to Fred See? I'm the one who's sober. Hello. Yeah, because we, we bought coats, too, because the coats are 60% right. off. If you need winter That's coats, right. you're in a cold climate. Go look for one now. They're you're on right. sale everywhere. You're right. So See, we anyway. Fred Meyer. We got some coats, and we saw this. They have one of these meal kits, like a lot of places do now, where everything's pre-measured and prepared, and it has a nice... Um, Recipe card inside with so all our, it's I, it, it's idiot proof. So we have two minute two uh, yeah, pork, pork chops. chops. We have some parmesan cheese. We have some maters, um, spinach, some heavy some cream slash comma heavy heavy cream, and panko. Okay. So what I'm supposed to do is supposed to add some salt and pepper and pound my meat. Um, we're still puppy sitting, and if you can see the black furry thing back there, she's really hoping Grandpa drops a piece of something on the floor. Because, you know, we never feed hey her. You. She's starving. Would That's a joke, sweets? people. She's hungry all the time. Yep. So, yeah, so, again, Fred Meyer had these uh, pre-prepared meal kits. Uh, this is the crispy pork chop. They had a lot of them. It was $16, feeds two people, is prep paired the company? That's a... Uh, oh, it's distributed eight, by Kroger, who owns uh, Fred Meyer, so... It's eight bucks a person. Yeah, it's not bad. And if we like it, then I save the recipe card so that we can make it again. Have you ever made any of this stuff again? Well, no, but we moved in the middle of all of that. Hello. Oh, yeah. This is our first time at Cooking with Fred up Northwest. Uh, yeah, see? Cooking with Fred in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. Poor meat. It's being pounded. So next step is to uh, combine panko breadcrumbs and half the Parmesan cheese and... Um, uh, spread that out. Okay. Uh, heat a large skillet or mean a quarter cup of oil. I need some oil. I need some oil. So, see, if you don't know what Fred Meyer is, I'll link their website in the description below. Really cool store that has groceries, hardware, home goods, clothing, and more. It's good. Everything. One of my favorite places. Breaded the uh, pork chops with the panko and some cheese that they included. And he's going to fry them up in a pan. Oh, shit, I've had salt and pepper. Oh, well. Then he's going to make like a cream spinach, only it's a little different than he's used to making it. And yes, he does make cream spinach occasionally. I love cream spinach. Our, he loves it. Our daughter loves it. I like it the way he makes it. Um, this one is going to have tomatoes in it, blistered tomatoes, which is not... Something he usually puts in his cream spinach, so it'll be interesting. Oh God, don't do that. Don't. I don't want to see myself on camera. Too late. Panko, what is panko? What is panko? Hi. My friend Vicki Brown from Messy Table Studios can answer that. She's a retired professional chef. I'm sure she'll know. You can see if she'll answer in the comments below. Okay, three to four minutes in each. Three to four minutes in each side. Then I'll flip it over. And once this is done, I'll set it aside and I'll start on my uh, cream spinach. Cool. You gonna try it their way, or are you gonna break all the rules and go your own way? 
on the green spinach. No, no, I'll just I'll just do whatever they tell me to do. Mm. Go low. We got some good garlic bread too, so we're gonna try some garlic bread. The garlic loaf. You garlic love loaf. garlic loaf. Get the Who whole does? cloves in it. Who doesn't love garlic loaf? Well, there's people out there that don't like garlic. Just like the crazy people that don't like onions or mushrooms. They must be vampires. I, I don't know. But vampires I like, hate garlic. I, I like garlic. Mm. It's good with me. It's fine with me. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Make that good. <laughs> Delicious. Put a little more oil in. So there's like little oil in there. Well, I'm Italian. That's like asking if I hate red wine. You and love red wine. I do. I just can't drink it that much anymore. A little salt and pepper. You know what this means, right? He's cooking, so I have to clean up. It's only fair. I'll make sure to make a mess. He will, too. Fred has to figure out how to blister a tomato. How what? Blister a tomato. I don't know how to do that. How the heck do you blister a tomato? Um, I'll give it a blister right there, right to kiss it. <laughs> I don't know. Read the directions. That's a, it says, um, while pork is cooking, heat over medium skill, uh, medium skillet over medium high heat with the tomatoes. Once tomatoes have blistered, reduce heat to medium and add a tablespoon of oil and I add think, spinach. I think that's and like when you, when you roast them like over an open flame, if they're bigger, these are too little and they get black and start, the skin starts get, getting black and blistery. It's like being in the sun too long, like getting 30 degree burns, you know, your skin starts to blister. Okay, we're both fairer than white paper, so yeah, we know all about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pasty white but, guy. Yeah, we're both pasty white people, and we both get blisters, so I don't know. Absolutely. Yeah. You gotta, I'm got tomatoes ready for them to blister. Bl blistering tomatoes. You gotta wait for them to blister. He's giving them a sunburn. You gotta sunburn them. And, yeah. Like being at the beach. You know, with sitting there at the beach without any sunscreen. Yeah, that's really stupid. For but, a couple you know, hours. It's a yeah, tomato. <laughs> I never do that. I always have a million layers on and lots of sunscreen. Cause well, that used to happen to me all the time growing up. Yeah. When I was young. Like third degree burns from I your sunburn. Because, yeah. You got some sunburn. I know, right? See, look, here's a blister. Is that a blister? Maybe. Know. It's on a medium high. See, here's medium. Here's high. It's right in the middle. Is that what it said on the dark? Yeah, medium high. Okay. Total blisters. Then add oil and... Use, you should be using a pot holder or something. You're going to burn yourself. You're not going to have to worry about the tomatoes being blistered. Your fingers are going to be blistered. These look good. Are they blistered? Uh, oh, the, those they're are just... They're pork chops. They're not the pork supposed to, oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully they're not blistery. No, I turned that off. Just a handful of time. You don't want to get it down here because then you have to get it. It's dangerous. You're going to burn yourself. You're not going to have to worry about blistery tomatoes. Oh, that's a blistered tomato. Look, see, yep. the, that's blistered. That's a blistered tomato. That looks blistered right that there. Blistered. I'm pointing to it right there. Yep. Good job, dear. I'm blistering. Looks like some of the um, tomatoes kind of kind of wilted. It blew up. Blew up. It well, blistered to a point of explosion. It blistered, blistered and exploded. Lily, no. Okay, you know what comes next? Dog. Cream. Cream. <coughs> and then the rest of the cheese. Oh, good. Cream and cheese. Who doesn't like cheese and cream? Who doesn't like cream? Cream cheese? Well, that too. Now what we're supposed to do is put this, when we plate it, we put this on the bottom and then the pork chop on top. So it looks, so it looks pretty. So it looks purty. Yeah. Not pretty, purty. Right, Pooch? Um, that look pretty. 
She's still hoping you drop a piece. But we... That what? That doesn't fit. Well, it's got spots. What do you mean spots? Well, spots here. There's a spot. There's a spot. Oh, there's the plate's spot. not clean. Plate's not you know, clean. chefs, I think, go after they plate it and they go and wipe the rim. I'm not going to wipe the rim. It's just us. I don't think you have to do that. I'm not going to wipe the rim. You probably could put some of the extra juice over the top of the pork chop. Oh, I was going to do that. Because oh, I love juice. Who doesn't love juice? Right? of you out there in YouTube land who have gotten to know me a bit and think that I'm extremely obsessive compulsive and anxiety ridden you're not wrong I'm not the only one in the family Shh. sounds good okay yes grab me one of these guys and then that one right there mm -hmm. there's one there's two grab some more pankos just love panko. Yeah, don't lose the crusty bits in the pan. Just Who doesn't love stuff. the crusty bits? I love crusty bits. You love the goo. You lo always like Gotta the goo. Gotta eat the goo. A little money shot drizzle right there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Happy New Year, everybody. Crispy pork chops. Done. Garlic bread and cream spinach. Fred Meyer. It's one of my our favorite places to go shopping up here in Oregon. I, I, it has been for a long time since way before we moved here. So if you're in the Pacific Northwest, especially, and or you have a Fred Meyer near you, um, give it a shot if you haven't been there yet. I don't know where all their locations are, but again, I'll put the uh, website in the description below and you can check it out. Fredmeyer.com. Fredmeyer.com, yeah. And it's a... Uh... It's made it's prep the, the it's pre prepared meal kits and this one is crispy pork chops and I looked at the back and the manufacturer is Kroger and they're the parent company of Fred Meyer okay. so they may have these if you don't have a Fred Meyer near you but that you have a Kroger near you you may find these at the Kroger store and um, it's only sixteen dollars yeah it's not bad for not two. bad for two peanuts eight bucks a person yeah all plus, right plus wine that's it uh, have a happy new year we will see you in the new year. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.